Hi everyone, it's the DLF Beauty here and I'm here to show you this new um, nail tutorial that I came up with today. It's um, black and red gradient with the heart accent off on the um, side corner. So go ahead and follow these instructions. I'll show you how it is that I got this done. To save on time, I went ahead and started off with this nail already and I just did the gradient from um, one corner up to like about mid nail. And what it is that I use, I actually use acrylic paints. This one's from Apple Barrel and Black. The other one, <clears throat> excuse me, also Apple Barrel and um, Bright Red. I just went and put some onto the um, to the a piece of paper that I have. This is a cosmetic sponge, and I'm just going. Oh wait, sorry, something else I have forgotten. I am using these uh, whole reinforce whole reinforcers. Yeah, that's what they're called and I actually cut it out so it looked like a, sh um, a heart. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this on my nail first. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that it's fully down, press it down. I'm going to use the back of my tweezers just to make sure that it's on there pretty well. And the way that I did it is that um, the red's on this side, the black is on this side, but when I start the gradient up above on this part of the nail, I'm going to actually switch it, put the black on this side and then the red on this way side, trying my hardest to actually meet the gradient that's right here. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So go ahead and just dip the sponge into the middle and just kind of blot it off a little bit. Okay. I'm going to try and do this in a way that you guys can see. Okay. Um, if I cut off camera, I'm sorry. Sorry about my niece in the background. And just go ahead and start blotting it. <clears throat> One second. I think this part through. <laughs> go ahead and try and meet it up with the with the. Um, the heart design sticker, I guess, is what you can call it. Just so that you can get the gradient up to where the sticker is. Yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> That's my niece. I mean, if you couldn't tell. Something like a little crazy baby. I'm going to cut off to the camera a little bit. Once you see this in the meantime. Can you hear my niece? I'm sorry. Everybody, I'd like you to meet Mila. <laughs> if you haven't heard her in my last videos before. I'm going to take the corner on it just so that I can dab some a little bit more concentrated off to the edge and go towards the edge of the nail. I'm trying to be quiet but they're not. Now I'm using the other corner to get the black and to do the edges. Three, two, one. 
I use um, the acrylic paints more because I feel that they blend a, a whole lot easier and that it doesn't stick as much and become as tacky as nail polish does when you do the gradient. And I just feel that it's a whole lot more easier. Go back to red. I think I'm going to have to put some more. And in between times, too, I try and let it dry. Because if you just keep putting it on while it's still wet, it's not going to really get anywhere. But as soon as it dries, it's easier to layer on and to make it um, more darker or fill in the color um, a whole lot better. See, it's. You can't really see it now. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And now I feel that I got it to where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and use the tweezers to help take it off. And that's where it is. I also have a brush here to help fix anything that I, you know, that I want that I want a little bit more neater. Okay. And then afterwards I'm going to go ahead and take a little cotton swab, dip it in water so that I can um, clean off the excess. I have a little thing of water right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have my sister and my niece in the room with me right now, and they are cracking me up. And just try and clean it up as best as you can. Okay, and then this is what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to take... Um, somewhat of a clear coat. I just keep using this one right now because I ran out of my other one and so it just needs something to help smooth it out. Get this out of the way and I'm just smoothing it out and creating um, a wet surface for when I add um, the little micro beads. Okay, now that I got that done, I have these beads right here. I'm going to be using these silver ones, and I have a needle that I'm just going to be using to help pick it up. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll just grab it with a bunch of them. Oh, hold on one second. Stuck. And just start placing them. You can just put them all in a bunch and then start straightening them up afterwards.
very shaky right now. I'm sorry. Sorry if you can hear the TV too. All right, and that's it. This is the new Valentine's meal that I came up with. The gradient with the heart. That's a little bit, uh, I guess you could say, a little bit on the dark side, goth side, emo, what have you. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't, if you do like my work. Um, also leave a comment if you have any questions or anything. Um, um, and yes, that's it. Thanks so much. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>